What I have here is a 2005 Chevrolet Trailblazer. Uh, the problem with this car has been ongoing for a while now. Uh, what's happening is the valves have either worn out or they're leaking. Whatever the case is, it has valve issues on the number three uh, cylinder. And uh, it's causing low compression and uh, a very rough idle and sometimes it stalls out. And unfortunately this is a fairly common problem with these engines. Uh, certain years just have this issue. Uh, so the only way to fix it is to tear down the whole engine and uh, pull the cylinder head to see what's going on. It's a very involved process. Uh, there's actually no videos on how to do the whole thing. So uh, we're going to make one and we're going to show you exactly what I was involved in doing this. Uh, this is a very expensive process if you have it done by a dealer. Uh, it's a couple thousand dollars to have it done. Uh, most people usually end up just taking a loss on the vehicle and selling it off as is. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and pull it apart and see if we can go ahead and fix it. Well, before we can even think about getting the cylinder head off, we have to go ahead and remove all the stuff around it. So we're going to start with the air intake, move on to the uh, intake, and then just slowly remove everything from the cylinder head. Air box out of the way. Power tools make things faster.
Okay, first look inside the engine. I have the valve cover and all the related components removed now. And you can see the uh, camshafts now. This is the intake over here. And over here is the exhaust valve. And the exhaust valve actually has a cam phaser on here because these engines were equipped with variable valve timing. Now I've got uh, some bailing wire and turnbuckles holding back the timing chain so I can go ahead and remove the gears uh, without losing uh, the timing. So uh, it's a couple days later now. Didn't have time to take uh, much more video when we pulled it out. But this is what the engine looks like right now. We got the bailing wire and turnbuckles holding the timing chain. Uh, the, all the cylinders look good. Uh, if you look at the number three exhaust port, it's actually a lighter color than all the rest of them. Uh, we actually broke 10 of the 14 head bolts trying to get this thing out even though we followed GM's recommendations, so we got uh, they're all soaking in Plebe Blaster and hopefully they'll come out all right. So uh, I got the cylinder head here and I removed all the camshafts and the rollers and uh, this is what we found. The number three cylinder right here, you can see one of the exhaust valves has like a reddish tint to it and it looks like it's been getting hot on one corner right here and I don't know if you can see that well but there's actually a visible gap on that side so we're going to take this to the machine shop and see what they say about it um, but I've heard lots of things about uh, valve issues on these engines so we'll see what happens